So I need to test this wheel speed sensor, so I thought I'd make a video on it and show you how you go about testing these wheel speed sensors with the multimeter, which is pretty simple to do. You basically just test them for ohms. So first you need to find the other side of your wire, which I got right here. And you basically just unconnect it from your connector. And if you look in there, you're gonna see two wires. So really we're just gonna test those for ohms and see what they are. If we can't read anything and it's open, then we know it's bad. But if we do read ohms, then we can go read what they are on the other side. And as long as they're within 1% of each other, then it should be good. So I'm gonna go ahead and see what the ohms is on this. Okay, so I got my leads plugged into the connector and I got my meter set to ohms. And this side is reading 31.11. And so it's definitely not open since it's reading something. But since I don't know what the correct ohms should be on this sensor, I'm gonna go read them on the other side and see what that one is. And as long as it's within 1% or so, then I'm gonna say it's good. If you're reading like this, and you're seeing this, then it's open and you know it's bad. And so at that point, just go ahead and replace it. But if you are reading ohms, then you're gonna have to go to the other side and see what those are to match it to it. And as long as it's within 1%, then it's usually good. So I'm gonna go to the other side and test that. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back and I got my leads hooked up on the other side here. I'm on the other wheel on the other side of the vehicle. And this side is reading 31.59. So it's basically the same as the other side. It's well within that 1% range. And so I know that other wheel speed sensor is good since the ohms is basically the same as the other side. And so if it wasn't the same as the other side, say it was like this was over here was saying like 40 or 50 or something like that, then you know that other wheel speed sensor was bad and that you need to replace it. And so when you go to test these, be sure they're not open. Be sure you're getting some type of ohms. You can try to look up what the ohms are for that specific sensor to see what it's supposed to be rated at. Or you can go to the other side of the vehicle and test the wheel speed sensor on the wheel that's not giving you an error code. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to show you how you go about testing a wheel speed sensor with the multimeter. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.